Poppenfilm speelt de Grand Hall, oftewel de grote zaal, een hele belangrijke rol. En die zaal staat op het enorme studiocomplex even buiten Londen. Emma Watson, beter bekend als Hermeline Griffel, heeft wel even tijd om Victor rond te leiden in de zaal. This is the Great Hall. Mm -hmm. This is where all of the students have sort of breakfast, lunch and dinner. We know so, that from the movie, of yes, course. Yes, yeah, we spend quite a lot of time in here. Um, this is the Gryffindor table. So this is where Harry, Hermione and Ron sit most of the time. What's your place? Um, I'm normally here. Harry, Ron. It changes around a bit, but yeah. it's basically like that. All of the food is edible. These are real edibles. Mm -hmm. um, the toast. She has been here for a little while, so it's gone a little bit hard. You might not want to eat mm -hmm. that, but yeah. In Harry Potter en de Orde van de Phoenix zien we een heel andere kant van Hermeline. Ze laat niet meer over zich heen lopen. She absolutely just just smacks him against the back wall with this spell, and um, it's a really good kind of girl power moment. From now on, you will be following a carefully structured. Ministry approved course of defensive magic. Yes. There's nothing in here about using defensive spells. Using spells? <laughs> well, I can't imagine why you would need to use spells in my classroom. Harry and his friends krijgen een uiterst vervelende lerares voor hun kiezen. Hermeline zegt haar imago als brave studiebolver wel en gaat in actie tegen professor Omber. When we're not allowed to do anything practically anymore, and not teaching them how to defend themselves. And so Hermione starts up the DA, which is Dumbledore's army, which is kind of this rebellion against her. Naast haar drukke leven als actrice heeft Emma Watson nog wel tijd om wat van de wereld te zien. I love Amsterdam. It's yeah, one of my favorite cities. Where did you go? Um, I stayed with some friends that I met on a holiday, and um, they showed me around. So it was really good fun. Loved it. I really okay. did. Okay. Aanstaande maandag is het Harry Potter avond bij SBS6. Hi, I'm Daniel Radcliffe. Come behind the scenes of Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix only next week on SBS 6. Morgen ontdekt Victor nog meer op de set van Harry Potter en de Orde van de Phoenix. En ook dan praten we exclusief met de hoofdrolspeler. Het gave aan de Harry Potter films is natuurlijk de details. Dit stripboek bijvoorbeeld wat hier op tafel ligt, dat is speciaal gemaakt voor deze film. De glazen ogen, om het een beetje eng te maken allemaal. Uh, de uil op tafel, de veer met de ink. Over details gesproken, sommige acteurs zijn in de loop der jaren zo gegroeid dat ze niet meer overal in passen. This is my bed, yeah. This is um, Neville Longbottom's bed. We have um, a little bag over there. It says the NL on it for Neville Longbottom. But, but I, I wouldn't fit in there for sure. <laughs> I think you're already pretty big for the Yeah, yeah. I'm, my, my feet do stick out the end a little bit. Show me. You <laughs> see? Okay. Um, Show me like we're shooting right now. Right, okay. So I, I'd be sort of, I'd be under the covers, but if my head was sort of on the pillow, and my feet stick out the end. But there's this, this wooden board here. Yeah. So I have to sort of, I have to pull my legs up like that. Victor loopt ook Rupert Grin tegen het lijf, oftewel Ron Wemel. Ook hij is al vanaf het begin een van de hoofdrolspelers in de Harry Potter films. Yeah, I think we're all sort of um, growing up, we're all growing up now, and we're all becoming a bit more um, better with magic. And I mean, and this one is much more sort of as a team now, because because of all, all the Dumbledore's army stuff, and we all get together and sort of. Um, Sort of learn different spells and uh, yeah, it's, it's been really good, good fun this one. Yeah, I've really enjoyed it. Het vechten met een toverstaf is ook essentieel voor de Harry Potter films. Dus kan onze Victor niet terug naar Nederland komen zonder een echt magisch gevecht te hebben gedaan. What happened here? There was a bit of a, a bit of a duel going on in here between um, Voldemort and Dumbledore. Yeah. Who um, you probably know are the two greatest wizards in in the history of this world, and so this battle was pretty momentous, really. And try again. Expelliarmus! This is for you. Okay. So I can take you through some of the attacking movements from which we, uh, from which I built the choreography. Okay. And then you, some... Even I can learn it. Well, we'll see. Position one. Open body. Position two. Across the body. Position three. If they can do it, why not us? Expelliarmus! The Behind the back. Position four. And sneaky behind the back, position five. Keep turning this way, that's it. Yes, very good. Voor alle hoofdrolspelers geldt dat zij het grootste deel van hun middelbare schooltijd door hebben gebracht op de set van de Potter films. Maar ook voor hen is er leven na Harry Potter. You want to go on acting? Pro yeah, probably. I could, I could do that. I was always, always into art at school, so I'd probably do that as well. I'm hoping to go to university eventually, but I think I'll try and wait until I finish the, the later Harry Potters. But it, 
it's always horrible when we sort of come towards the end of the film, knowing that it's going to be a fair few months before we see each other again. And so I'm sort of going to be, aside from school, when I'm in my spare time, I'm sort of be a bit of a loose end, really. Maandag is jouw nieuws nog meer. Harry Potter en de Orde van de Phoenix. Dan... De nieuwe Harry Potter die gaat morgen in Nederland in première. En ik ben speciaal naar Engeland afgereisd voor een setbezoek. En dat was heel erg bijzonder. En daar heb ik natuurlijk ook gesproken met Harry zelf, oftewel Daniel Radcliffe. Ja, vorige week uh, heeft u al het een en ander kunnen zien van Victor's bezoek aan de sets van de nieuwe Harry Potter film. Maar nu dus zijn gesprek met hoofdrolspeler Daniel Radcliffe. zitten we met z'n allen met smart op te wachten. Maar in deze vijfde film is het dan eindelijk zover. Harry krijgt zijn eerste kus. En dus is het tijd voor een goed gesprek met Harry Potter zelf, Daniel Radcliffe. He heard that it took you 24 times. That's what newspapers write and people I say. Know. Is that the truth? Well, the thing is, you do, it is. But it's, it's, it's because, you know, you do 24 takes on, on most scenes. That wasn't one shot. It was on, you know, we maybe did five or six times on the first shot and then from another angle we did another mm -hmm. five or six and so you it went on like that no i didn't mind it was a pleasure but um <laughs> but it was it was just that i said it in an interview with the paper and so they made it sort of sound like i asked to do it more and more and more yeah. for 24 and days you have been kissing all day yeah exactly <laughs> Shut him 